What's up, Walker Bait? Season 8's premiere of Walking Dead was chock full of bullets and a bajillion zombies and concern over Father Gabriel's choice in pants. However, the most interesting tidbits were Rick's emotionally opposite flash forwards. We're going to take a deep dive into what all this could mean, but first, be warned, we're headed into some really huge potential comic and show spoilers. Those of you who've read the comics may recognize the sheriff's great big bushy beard, as well as his cane. After the resolution of the all-out war storyline that focuses on settling the score between Negan and Rick, the post-apocalyptic world of the comics takes a two-year break before resuming under more peaceful conditions. The setting of the dreamy moments from the show's premiere looks very similar to those after the comics' time jump, even mentioning the fall festival that takes place in print. In contrast to the almost heavenly visions of what may be the future, we get an entirely different feel in the other flash forwards with a, once again, shell-shocked Rick where he utters a single line through his tears, whispering, my mercy prevailed over my wrath. We believe these two flashbacks are meant as bookends for the mid-season break, sort of. With one showing us what will happen in the mid-season finale and the other when the second half of the season returns in February. The traumatized Rick Grimes moments seem to be coming soon as his hair and beard look much more like the current Rick Grimes. In the comics, after a few confrontations, the Saviors and the remaining factions meet for a final showdown outside the walls of Hilltop, where Rick faces Negan, mano y mano. Most of the battle is filled with some chit-chatting until Rick slits Negan's throat. Negan responds by breaking Rick's leg before passing out from blood loss. Rick demands that a doctor save Negan's life so he can be imprisoned for his crimes. In doing this, he is showing the communities that the loss of human life is no longer something that should be perpetrated by the living, but the consequences must be enacted and examples made. We expect the show to take a similar route. If you remember in season six, Morgan labors to build a prison cell within Alexandria as an alternative to the violent path his friends were racing down. Though he's recently abandoned his pacifist demeanor in order to defend and find justice for those Negan has taken, we don't think Morgan has lost hope for such a peaceful world. We predict that a situation will arise in which Morgan will have the opportunity to kill either Negan or a major player in his entourage, and he will refrain. We even expect Morgan to speak the words, my mercy prevailed over my wrath. Unfortunately, we think someone very close to Rick will take a dirt nap shortly afterwards, leading to Rick's renewed broken state. This will inspire a change in Rick's perspective, causing him to spare Negan in a fashion similar to that of the comics. Rick will imprison Negan for his crimes and leave him to rot. We expect this moment to close the curtains on the mid-season finale and the current timeline of The Walking Dead. Though the fuzzy flashbacks with Old Man Rick look like the comic's future timeline, we think these are Rick's current romanticized ideas of how the future will go, while reality will hold much more turmoil for Rick's crew. In fact, Walking Dead showrunner Scott Gimple spoke out about Old Man Rick at San Diego Comic-Con saying, I will say that we won't know exactly what that's about after the first episode, but we will know it about halfway through the season, which provides some pretty heavy credence behind our theory that the mid-season premiere is likely to open two years after the current events as Rick faces all new issues in an entirely new dynamic. Either way, season eight is promising both action and Rick's return to form as the strong leader we've come to love. Let us know your predictions for how things will shake out. We certainly can't wait to see for ourselves and make sure to check out our four best theories about the recently announced crossover between Fear the Walking Dead and Walking Dead. For all zombie love, make sure you stick with IGN.